In this video, we'll look at the molecular geometry, the molecular shape of the sulfite ion, SO3 two minus. So we have this chart here, and this will kind of guide us in our work. We want to figure out the steric number. The steric number, that's the number of things that are around the central atom, the central sulfur. So we have an oxygen, one, two, three oxygens, and then we have a lone pair. So we have a steric number of four. So let's look at this. We say it's four, and then how many lone pairs do we have? Just the one. So with one lone pair and a steric number of four, it's trigonal pyramidal. And then when we look at the bond angle here, it's 109.5. But understand, this is a generic bond angle. This is SO3 two minus. So the oxygen atoms, they behave a little bit differently. That means that we'll have a structure, a bond angle, that's a little bit closer to 106. So this 109.5 that we have, it's actually because of the oxygen atoms, it's 106. So it's still trigonal pyramidal, it's just a little bit lower bond angle there. That's because this lone pair pushes these oxygen atoms down and closer to each other. So let's consider this our sulfur atom here in the center, and let's add, we said one, two single bonds, and then a double bond. So this would be SO3 if we didn't have the lone pair. It's a trigonal planar molecular geometry. But when we add that lone pair, it pushes these down. And you can see it occupies more space than these hydrogen atoms here. So it ends up pushing those closer. So instead of 109.5, we get about 106.0 is our bond angle in the SO3 two minus ion. Okay. So that's the molecular geometry or shape for SO3 two minus the sulfite ion. If you need some help in drawing this Lewis structure, there'll be a link in the description of this video. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.